Now, there is a term here, the noise temperature, that is related also to antennas, that mostly uh, uh, deal with the, or interest in satellite communication. Why is that? We will see in a minute. And uh, if we look at, on this basic scheme of, of any system that is connected to an antenna, we have an antenna and a receiver. We are, we are now talking about uh, uh, receiving. Um, and we assume as a radio frequency designers that the noise in the terminals of our receiver is minus 170 dBm per hertz. But actually, when we are uh, dealing with satellite communication, this is not actually the, uh, the actually right. Um, if we look at the next slide, uh, let's examine the following uh, example. If we look at the uh, radiation pattern of an antenna that looks uh, towards the horizon, we can see that half of it is above ground level, while the other, uh, the other half is sees the ground level, uh, below ground. Okay, so the ground is 300 degrees Kelvin, if we assume an average temperature between all cases on our planet. And the uh, upper half of the radiation pattern, that the one that sees the sky, actually feels almost zero degrees Kelvin. If we uh, make an average of this, then we can say that half multiplied by zero plus half multiplied by 300 is 150 degrees Kelvin. In order to calculate the noise, then we have to uh, do 10 log Boltzmann constant, uh, which is uh, here listed, uh, written here in the bottom of the slide, uh, multiplied by the temperature of the antenna, uh, which is in our case 150 degrees Kelvin, and then it yields minus 177 dBm per hertz and not minus 174 dBm per hertz. Of course, if we uh, elevate the antenna towards the sky, then the temperature, the noise temperature of the antenna will reduce. If we uh, look f uh, uh, just perpendicular to the ground towards the sky, I mean, uh, we have an antenna that observe, that radiates up, then the temperature will be minimal. In order to help uh, those guys of you that uh, have to deal with this inconvenient uh, term of uh, antennas, uh, which is the noise uh, temperature, then uh, here is a, a thumb rule table that will assist you. If you have a 34 dBi antenna, uh, yeah, approximately a 34 dBi antenna, then if you look to the horizon, Okay, then you will see 150 degrees Kelvin. Of course, this is, uh, doesn't depend on the gain of the antenna because half of the radiation pattern is below ground and half of the radiation pattern is above ground. If the antenna is 30 degrees above horizon, then most of the main beam sees the sky while the, uh, only a small part of the side lobes and back lobe see uh, the ground then the temperature of the antenna would be approximately 30 degrees Kelvin. This is most relevant for all the satellite TV communication antennas which are around these figures. And 30, 90 degrees above uh, horizon, this is approximately 5 degrees Kelvin. If you calculate the 5 degrees Kelvin in the uh, noise uh, formula that we have seen in the previous slide, then you will get much lower energy than minus 174 dBm per hertz.